My name is Joseph Townsend and my kidney disease started in 2004 when I found out I had a IJ nephropathy. When I got diagnosed with um, my condition, I just lost all my energy. Um, walking up the stairs was out, out of breath. I was constantly feeling cold. I go to work. Um, my, my job at the time was quite physical and I struggled doing that. Um, I'd have to sit down a lot. I had to finish work completely because of the way I was. I was also in college trying to be a paramedic, doing a paramedics degree. Healthy kidneys filter the blood, removing excess salt, minerals, harmful waste products and fluid by turning them into urine. If the kidneys are not working correctly, they may not be able to filter the blood properly. This can lead to fluid, minerals and waste products building up in the blood to harmful levels and can lead to the presentation of symptoms. Symptoms can include tiredness, swollen ankles, shortness of breath and feeling sick. I went to the unit on hemodialysis three times a week, um, struggling with all my fluids and my thing, I had no energy at all. You're feeling really low all the time. Everything's in your mind about dialysis, your illness, because you just feel rough, you just feel yuck. It was the thought of getting the ambulance. The ambulance can't pick me up, so they picked me up anywhere between uh, half past three and half past four. And then I had to wait in the unit then, and then I dialyse for four to five hours in the unit, and then it's the wait for the ambulance to go home. I could be at the house for anywhere from six to seven hours just for dialysis for three days a week. And it's quite a lot of time at the house. So loads of impact on my diet. Uh, from being able to eat and drink to what I wanted, to being not and being restricted. Couldn't eat certain foods like potatoes and tomatoes. I had a fluid restriction of a litre, what I was really struggled with. Um, it was just, it's horrible. Yeah, I was on a lot of medication, I was on dialysis. Uh, I was on phosphate binders, like I said, and uh, calcium chew. I was on aspirin, blood pressure tablets. Um, it's all a contributing fact of being on dialysis, all the normal drugs. Uh, they added vitamins to me like uh, Renicid, uh, alpha calcidol, just to help bring your body up, and also on uh, EPO as well, and having iron infusions. It was very difficult. I'm normally really, really good with my meds, um, but it is difficult when you you got to have the phosphate binders. After you eat something, you got to take a phosphate binder, have a calcium chew tablet as well. So it's it's not just a case of taking them; it's the thought of taking them because with the calcium chew tablets, you got to chew it, and it's not a nice it's not a nice experience if you haven't had it. Dialysis filters out unwanted substances and excess water from the blood. Dialysis replaces some of the functions of the kidneys, but not all. People on dialysis usually need to take medicines, be careful what they eat and drink, and live as healthy a lifestyle as possible. There are two main types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. During hemodialysis, blood is pumped out of the body to a dialysis machine where it is passed through a series of tiny tubes in an artificial kidney called a dialyzer. Excess fluid and minerals are separated from the blood and discarded. The clean blood is pumped back into the body. I was on the transplant list for my second kidney for five years. So I got put on the list literally straight after my mum's one failed. And then I was hoping it was going to be plain sailing but it wasn't because I had a 2% chance due to the antibodies. And then, yeah, five years later, I got called for the transplant. So the process of getting called for the transplant is quite, it's quite in a mixed emotions because you get, you're excited, you're nervous, you're scared, you're happy. You, it's just, you, the, the feelings is overwhelming. So you got like all this tension going on inside you. Um, then the process is you get the Cardiff, Cardiff then dialyze you if you need dialysis. I had to have dialysis when I was there. Then it's just a long process of waiting for the kidney to arrive, then examining the kidney, make sure the kidney's a good match for you or it's fit to go into the body. And then they give you a time saying you're going down for the transplant now. 
Um, so they can keep you waiting quite a well, while, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours before they actually put the kidney into you. And then once you're down in theatre then, that's it. And when you come back, you just hope, fingers crossed, that the op went well and that you got the kidney inside you. You don't have any restrictions on your food and your drink, but I keep an eye on what I'm eating. So I try not to eat too much potassium foods. It's always drilled into me. I try not to eat too unhealthy, so not too many takeaways. I try to eat fresh food as much as possible and try to keep as fit as possible, active by walking or going to the gym and doing other things. But yeah, just looking after yourself, really, trying to change your life around a bit more. It differs quite a lot. It's nicer because you've not got no machine to look after. You're not hooked up on the machine. You have that much more freedom. You're on a lot more tablets, but I'd rather take the tablets what can take one minute to take than be on the machine for three, four, six, eight hours. So yes, yeah, it's, it's worth it. You have you have your side effects from your tablets, you just get used to them. Like you get the shakes, you get the tack shakes. Um, but as long as you can deal with that, then everything else is great. So life's a lot better. Freedom. Hmm. <laughs>